Sandra Day O'Connor and her husband John were married 57 years after meeting in law school at Stanford University. She graduated number three in her class. Number one was William Rehnquist. He would become a justice, then chief justice of the Supreme Court. She eventually joined him there. It's long been known that they were more than just friends at Stanford and actually dated for a time. But now author Evan Thomas, working on an O'Connor biography, has discovered that Rehnquist's interest in her went much further. When he left law school to become a Supreme Court clerk, he wrote to her. I think he was lonely in Washington, and he began writing her, ardently writing her. Then he went on to say, uh, Sandy, will you marry me? There's no record of her response, but it was clearly no. She married John O'Connor a few months later at the family ranch. Rehnquist married another woman he met at law school, Natalie Cornell. Children of both marriages had no idea about the earlier proposal found in an old box of O'Connors. They gave me permission to see this box, the, the O'Connor kids, but they hadn't actually read what was in the box. They remained the best of friends united in a different way on the Supreme Court bench. Pete Williams, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.